Hey, this is Dan from MSS Enduralis. Welcome to the channel. You don't know anything about what's coming. Hey, this is Dan from MSS Enduralis. This is a basic first aid course video that I have, and I wanted to share it and see what you guys thought before I break it up and put it into a whole bunch of parts. So let me know in the comments below. So this is Dan, and I hope you guys enjoy the video. Accidents happen. It's a fact of life. Are you prepared to be a first responder? to provide emergency first aid until professional help arrives or until you can get the victim to the hospital. This program details everything you need to know to be an effective first responder to individuals suffering from slips and falls, car accidents, cuts and bruises, head trauma, cardiac arrest, or blocked airways. Now you can be prepared. The information you're about to see is being presented by Mr. John Klatt, president and founder of American Safety. Started in 1995, American Safety provides a wide variety of safety training programs for healthcare professionals, businesses, and individuals. Additionally, Mr. Klatt trains United States military personnel in the latest first aid and tactical first responder techniques and has traveled in this capacity to the Middle East on several occasions. Now, it is my honor to present to you Mr. John Klatt with Basic First Aid. Hi, thanks for joining us. My name is John Klatt and this is Basic First Aid. Every day tens of thousands of people are injured, even killed, around the home, at work, or at play. And emergency medical services may be minutes, even hours away. The steps that a first responder takes in those first few moments may mean the difference between life and death. In this video today, we're going to show you how to provide first aid for illnesses and accidents. And we're going to give you some first aid tips to help you stay safe if you are a first responder. But first, are you at legal obligation to help someone? Every state has Good Samaritan laws. Good Samaritan laws are laws that protect you in, in the steps that you take as a first responder. Make sure that you check with your state and local laws before providing care for somebody who you don't know. If you're a member of a workforce rescue team, you may be required to take a blood-borne pathogens course. Blood-borne pathogens is, related, is regulated by federal, state, and local laws. Make sure that you check with your employer before becoming a member of one of these teams. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing you need to know about first aid is safety. That is scene safety. Scene safety is, is there busy traffic, a fire, smoke, gasoline, or other people at the scene? You need to ensure that the scene is safe before you and other rescuers can approach. Once you feel that the scene is safe and there are several victims, you'll need to perform something called triage. Triage means to sort. That is, if there are several victims, you'll need to prioritize each victim and the level of care that they need. If somebody is in cardiac arrest, secondary to trauma, it's very unlikely that you're going to be able to resuscitate them. And spending a lot of time trying to resuscitate one person may, be not, benef may not be beneficial in that others may benefit from your care. 